Good day everyone, Blaze Raider here. Today I want to show you this quick experiment I did with the smoke simulator in Blender. So I wanted to compare how changing the high resolution settings and domain resolution settings visually affected the final smoke simulation. I recorded how long each simulation took and also the final file size of the bake files. I then rendered each simulation out to compare them visually. So this is just a quick um, overview of the, the scene setup. Um, I've got the domain here, got the camera set up, a few light sources as well. Maybe put this into rendered mode just so you can see what that looks like. Um, uh, basic shader. This is all set up with um, the quick smoke function you can find here. If you just press quick smoke, show that there. Uh, so we'll go to the smoke domain settings here. I started off with a base resolution of 40, and then with each simulation, I went through and increased the smoke high resolution setting. Uh, I've kept strength at one. Um, I didn't want the noise affecting it too much. And here are here's the smoke cache settings as well. I'll just play through the animation there. Quite simple, quite easy. Anyone can set this up. So what I wanted to do was to kind of compare the different smoke simulations as the smoke high resolution settings were increased, and then to also increase the the the, the base divisions here, and do the same thing across base divisions and also high resolution uh, settings. So Here's the, here's the data that I came up with. Um, working with uh, a base resolution of 40, I did a total of six simulations with high res 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's the yellow plotted line here. So this is the baking time and the file size here. Um, you've probably noticed this, um, this term here called visual resolution. So the way I can explain this, um, it's something that I put together just for the sake of this video. It's essentially how much or how many final subdivisions the smoke domain has upon rendering. So if we think of the smoke high resolution setting as kind of a subdivision modifier, uh, it goes through and subdivides each of the voxels of the base resolution. So this would mean it's being subdivided once, which, which means you get 80, so 40 times 2. Uh, so high res value of 2 means you'll be subdivided twice. So it'll be 40 times 2 times 2. And if we go on to the last one here, it'll be 40 times 2 5 times. Right? So 40 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Uh, so that will give you a final uh, visual resolution of 1280. Um, I also did the same with a base resolution of 80, 160, 320. And just to kind of fill in this gap here, I did one with uh, 120 as well. And you can kind of see for yourself how as expected, as we increase the high resolution settings, uh, the baking time also increases. Um, same with the file size. Uh, it was interesting to note, however, that um, while working with the 320 base resolution, um, increasing the high res value to 1 and baking that out took a substantially long amount of time, just comparing that to the others. And I didn't even bother uh, going to a higher high res, high resolution setting because you're just going to take take a really long time, just probably off the screen here. Um, so that's quite interesting. Um, you can imagine how difficult that would be to work with if you had to wait um, for each each simulation to, to, to bake through so that you could look at it visually and see how it is. Um, yeah. So that's that's the that's the simulation data there. Now I'll show you the visual um, the final animations actually. So this is with a base resolution of 40. And so we've got high res 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 with the visual resolution at the bottom. And also showing you the baked baking time. So as you can see for yourself, with each, uh, with each revision here, the, the simulation looks better in, in simple terms. Um, it's interesting to note how the high resolution option is doing what it's, what it's uh, supposed to do in that it kind of works off the base simulation and just adds detail in instead of completely changing the simulation to begin with. So you can see how the flow is essentially the same across all of these, it's just you've got more detail in the higher res high visual resolution ones. Now this this actually surprised me quite a bit because this this last one here is something that 
it's a simulation. It's a, it's a it's something that I could possibly use in a video. You know, it's it's, it's actually kind kind of decent quality. And the time to bake that was really quick. Uh, we'll go through 80 as well, base res of 80. Um, again, going through each revision here, the the quality looks much better, the quality of the simulation. However, you can probably notice how we've got these, these kind of blocky artifacts here. And this is something that the Blender Smoke simulator is, is really well known for. Um, occurs particularly with uh, with lower resolu resolution um, smoke simulations. You can see how it's there in the uh, in the base simulation to begin with, and it kind of just gets amplified as you go on. It doesn't really ever disappear, and if you look at this final one here, it's still it's still there to an extent. It looks much better, but it's still there. Uh, moving on, here we've got base resolution of 160. The blocky artifacts are still there, but not nearly as noticeable, especially as we go up with uh, with the visual resolution, the high resolution settings. Yeah, um, just purely based off of bake time, this this one is probably something I'd um, push push towards and use this in in an animation or something. It's quite good quality. It's good flow and everything there. And here's the final one. I don't have higher resolution ones of this uh, simulations of this this particular base resolution because it was just taking too long. I I didn't want to wait a whole day for this to simulate out. So they they're equally they're both really detailed. And depending on preference, I guess some some might prefer this one over this one, but yeah, that's that. Uh, now, now here comes uh, what I think is the more interesting part. I've gone ahead and kind of compared across the same visual resolution. So here we'd have, I'll just pause this here, um, a base resolution of 40, and also it's, it's the time it took to bake, at a high resolution of 3. So this one would be 80, high resolution of 2, 160, high resolution of 1, and 320, high resolution 0. You can kind of go through and see how they look really different. The The level of detail is kind of the same, not quite, but kind of the same, but just, just the, the way the smoke moves and everything is really different. And this is really due to the the base resolution. So the base resolution is kind of what determines how so it's not kind of, so it's definitely what determines how the the final animation or simulation looks and so the high resolution settings are there to kind of build on the base simulation and then kind of add more detail in uh, at the cost of I guess these finer details in the smoke as you can see in these higher resolutions here so you've got these fine kind of ripples and streams of smoke there Whereas it's non-existent here. Well, it looks kind of, it looks pretty good still. It's definitely, I admit, it's something that I could use this. I don't, you know, like it's not too bad. I'll show you the last two as well. Here it is with a visual resolution uh, resolution of 640. Again, base resolution of 40, 80, 160, 320. And they're all really high detailed simulations visually. Some of them took substantially longer to simulate than others. So for example, the one with a base resolution of 320 took that long. That's compared to, say, base resolution of 40. And just the last one. So here we've got visual resolution of 1280 and also just a comparison between the two. So that's the end of this video. If you like this video, make sure you press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.